Good morning. Good afternoon. It is April 22nd. Today's high is supposed to be 18 Celsius, which is 65 Fahrenheit? Not bad. Anyway, as you can see, I'm not at the bus. I'm at home today. I brought the countertop home. I cut out the spot where the stove is going. I did this at the bus yesterday. It was just a lot of measuring and determining and figuring out. I have my little banjo cut here. But I still have a little bit of sanding to do and I have to put my vinegar stain on it. So let's get you on the tripod and get at it. Eventually we're gonna have to get off of this deck and go on to that deck because of the way the sun curves around. So don't be surprised if you see, don't be surprised if you see a change in scenery. I have most of the surface done. I went over it with my orbital sander that had a 120 grit sandpaper on it. But I still don't have this perfectly smooth. Hey kitty cat. or something put underneath so I can get to that better. I need a bigger deck. And the reason I'm doing this here at home instead of at the bus, my brother lives 45 minutes away. I use a quarter tank of gas to get to his to get to his place and back. At the current price of gas, it's $15 a trip. Gas here is a dollar a dollar thirty a liter at the moment. So I have to try figuring out ways to save money. sanding pad. I'm using this to take the edge off the corners here and here. Because uh, yeah, I don't want to get splinters or anything like that when I go to finish it. No, she was in the house. All good.
minute to give me a minute to get a 2x4 so I can prop that end up and I'll dust this thing off then I'll come back and we'll start do with the stain hang tight I gave the countertop a little bit of a wash looks better so now now I'm going to add tea I know I said I wasn't going to add the tea when I was first looking at it but when I was doing the underside of this piece earlier today it just wasn't it just wasn't absorbing the vinegar stain that well so I'm just going to add one coat of the tea first then I'll add my multiple coats of vinegar sit for an hour or two so it can really soak into the wood make sure that the wood is nice and dry make sure it absor absorbed all that uh, tea then we'll add the vinegar stain so hang tight and see you shortly it's been about an hour and a half now I had to I had to change the countertop a little bit it was out of the sun so now we have our vinegar mixture here. Just getting it worked into this roller. one coat done let's let's leave this sit for an hour or two and then we'll uh, give it a second coat what a difference already but it's not popping the way I liked it on that one piece I had all these white veins were turning a pink red color it's not doing that now Oh well, gotta live with it. So hang tight and we'll do the second coat right away. Well, for you, right away, for me, a couple hours from now. As you can tell, I had to change location. The, the, garage, the garage started causing a shade for the tape, the countertop. So I had to move it. <coughs> Anyway, let's get on to the second coat. I'm 
not sure if I'm gonna have enough of my plain vinegar mixture for this. Like I said, I want to do like three, maybe even four coats. Oh, I won't. I'm gonna have to go into my apple cider mixture. saturated it completely saturated wow that tumbles. completely saturated do it again yeah let it dry it looks like that red color is finally coming out again hard to tell so we'll wait for a little while because I've really soaked down the wood this time Give it another shot. Probably, it's, it'll probably have to be with apple cider this time because I don't have much regular. Not much at all. So let this dry, and we'll be right back. Hang tight. I've actually decided against a third coat of vinegar. The colors I've, the colors I want have come out. But unfortunately, the dark colors aren't there, and that won't, and those will not come out of, even if I put a third coat. We just make it more red. So this is the farthest I'm going with the vinegar stain. So now I have a few coats of Verithane to put on. After I put on two coats of Verithane, I'm going to sand it down with a 220 sandpaper. Then I'll put a third coat of Verithane on. And the reason I'm putting the bare thing on, even though I am putting a, an epoxy pour on countertop, is sorry, is that you have to seal the wood. Because after you pour it on, after you pour on the uh, epoxy finish, it'll start creating bubbles. And the bubbles come from the wood. So if you don't seal, so if you don't seal the wood, you'll you'll constantly be getting bubbles. And if you use a blowtorch to get rid of the bubbles, there's a possibility that you'll get more bubbles because you're heating the wood. So you want so you want to seal your pro your project before you put the epoxy on.
that's one coat done. It doesn't quite, it doesn't take quite as long to dry, but I'm still gonna let it wait about an hour before I put the second coat on. So, as usual, hang tight. Well, I didn't get the hour I said I was going to. It's only been about half an hour. So time for the second coat. This stuff practically dried on contact. This area was dry by the time I got over there, so. sure it is completely dry because like I said I'm going to sand it down before applying the third and final coat. So hang tight. It's been about half an hour so let's give this thing a little sanding. The reason I'm sanding it is to get rid of any slight imperfections that might still be on here. It feels smooth but I do feel the occasional little bump. Yes I know I'm putting an epoxy on but still I don't know. Just seems like something to do. There, just feel just just feels like the right thing to do. this thing. There's a few things I saw that I didn't like too much, but I have no choice in the matter, now do I? What is it over here? I'm not sure. Oh, you're seeing it as totally different colors, like way different. Okay, the camera died just as I was mentioning this, so I had to swap, swap out the battery and I uh, changed it to manual mode so you can get a better look of this better look at this yeah, and that's about the right color shade by the looks of it I think I put more of the uh, vinegar on this side than this side because it happens here and it also happens over here that's gonna drive me nuts 
And over here you can see this huge color difference. That's because I had to put on a piece of quarter inch uh, plywood because I cut this too deep. So when I glued it in place, that's glue. That's why you have to sand off all the glue because the, even the vinegar stain couldn't even penetrate it. But all this murkiness, I do not like the way it is a totally different color. You can really see it around this edge. I'm really hoping this goes away with the with the epoxy, the poron epoxy. Because it just So anyway, yeah. We're done. Just a few things I do not like. I don't I don't like I don't like that. I hope that goes away when I put the epoxy on. And here you can see that I sanded just a little too much. Just a fraction too much. Have to be very careful when you're sanding. Just change the settings again, that's why I went flickery flickery. Well, that's it for today. Tomorrow I might put an epoxy on, just a thin layer to cover up all the holes and everything. Like, just because there's something like that, there's a little crevice right here, a crevice right here, so you want to put on a very thin layer of epoxy first before you put on your flood coat so it can fill in all these imperfections. I might do that tomorrow. Like I said, I might do that tomorrow. I have to do it inside because I need a minimum of 20 degrees Celsius. It's definitely not going to be that tomorrow outside, so I'm going to have to do that inside. So we'll see. Maybe we'll do it, a small little thin coat. So until then, have a good one. Catch you next time.